Um, I've uploaded the video yesterday. It was my birthday yesterday. Happy birthday. Um, had a hail shower. Didn't last long. It wasn't the most extreme hail shower I've ever caught, but certainly notable one for my birthday. So, um, definitely a highlight. So, video's already up. Um, but back to the main video. This week's weather forecast, well, today's looking well, pretty glum today. I'll just get today out of the way. Uh, dry starts in the morning time for eastern areas and actually a little bit of sunshine there. Further west it was raining heavily and then that band of rain, which I'm underneath right now, will be spreading uh, eastwards throughout the day. Um, I think Northern Ireland might dry up later on in the afternoon and maybe parts of Scotland as well. Temperatures uh, a little bit chilly in the north, around 8 to 9 degrees in Scotland, but a milder day further south despite the rain and the wind with 10 to 12 degrees Celsius across the country. Tonight's weather, the rain should eventually clear away, but there will be some shallow bands of it continuing overnight as low pressure will be fairly close by. I think it will turn a bit drier later on in the night, especially towards northern areas where we could see a little bit of patchy frost and the winds will also die down. Mild is further south, but we keep the cloud and the rain, 7 to 8 degrees further south, 2 to 4, two to four further north, and a patchy frost may be possible. Now for this week's weather, oh great, don't start. Uh, this week's weather, um, actually, it is going to be a drier week than last week. The winds will be much lighter, and it will be a mild start, but it will turn colder later, as we will see a change in the wind direction. A little bit of rain possible on Thursday. More detail on that in just a few minutes. For Monday's weather tomorrow, it should be a much better day. Not completely dry, I can't rule out the odd shower, but high pressure very much close by across the country, so a bit of a completely different picture tomorrow. And we will see some sunshine for some places. Places. Then a whereabouts um, where we will get the most sunshine, but temperatures also will be noticeably higher with around double figures for nearly everywhere, with highs of around 11 to 13 degrees, maybe a little bit cooler in Scotland with 8 to 9 there. 14 degrees is possible, for example, in Cardiff. So for Wales, it could be a very pleasant day. I'm going to have to take shelter in a minute. For Tuesday's weather, Tuesday actually, let me just. Yeah, uh, Tuesday's weather probably the warmest day of the week. Temperatures widely could be around 12 to 14 degrees Celsius, but we might start off quite cloudy and a little bit damp, particularly towards eastern areas, so the weather front will be fairly close by, so I can't rule out completely dry weather for Tuesday, but by the afternoon, it's a very pleasant spring day. Winds will be light, feeling very pleasant when you're outside from the breeze, especially further west, temperatures, like I said, mostly 12 to 14 degrees nationwide uh, for many areas. And actually, Wednesday will continue on that trend as well. I think maybe further east on Wednesday, maybe a little bit more cloud and temperatures will be noticeably lower. My struggle to reach double figures there, so 9 degrees, for example, in Lincoln. Milder and brighter further west with temperatures around 12 to 13 degrees Celsius with plenty of sunshine. I was going to have to stop there. I had to take shelter, it's really coming down. By the time we get into Thursday, uh, Thursday actually further towards the eastern parts of England, we may actually see a bit of a weather system coming in, which may produce some rain or showers for some places. And it could be quite Quite wintry. I wouldn't rule out some hell and thunder for some places on Thursday. Temperature is also quite noticeably lower, only around six to eight degrees Celsius further east, so temperatures below average. A little bit milder further west with less rain, a bit more sunshine, nine to eleven degrees Celsius. Even that, a few showers possible there. Always a bit of uncertainty by the end of the week. High pressure is likely to reinvigorate itself into the end of the week, so Friday probably sees a drier picture. A few showers possible, but mostly dry with some sunny spells. Temperatures, though, probably staying on the cool side due to a change in the wind direction coming from the east or northeasterly direction. So, mostly temperatures, uh, like I said, below average for the end of the week, 6 to 8 degrees Celsius for most places. So, it will be a colder end of the week. And um, into next weekend, I think we'll stay with the chilly theme, but the pressure will be rising, so the weather conditions will be drying out once again. I don't know how much sunshine or how much cloud we may get, but I think because of the low temperatures, we're more likely to see plenty of cloud around. So temperatures once again for Saturday, limited sunny spells, not too strong in terms of the winds. The winds will be fairly light, well much lighter than it was. Uh, last week. So it's 7 to 9 typically on Saturday and by the time we get into next week I think the pressure may stay around into next week as well. Pressure will be high, don't know how much sunshine we may get, temperatures may be a bit milder into next week, don't know how warm it will be so uh, just stay tuned to the forecast. But it looks like actually next week might be looking fairly decent with winds light, bright and dry days ahead so um, it's not looking overly too bad. Anyways, that's it for this week's weather, and it should be a drier picture than it was today. My camera's soaked. I'm going to end this video. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe, and I'll try and get more videos out for you if I can. And other than that, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Storm is now out. I'm off to dry my camera.